Hey everyone, it's Keyboard P from the Phone 7 blog. Today I've been reading and learning about WCF and how to use it with Windows Phone 7 and I came up with a small application which I think might be useful to the developer community. You can download the source code for this um, at phone7.wordpress.com. Now obviously without a real device testing GPS features is quite tricky and you have to simulate GPS points. Now some people have uh, downloaded groups of GPS points and loaded them uh, based on the timer to simulate some sort of movement. Um, others have just randomly generated latitude and longitude values. And these methods are fine and they work, but I think you get more accurate results and readings uh, if you combine Bing Maps with WCF in order to retrieve GPS data. So this is what um, this application does. Now, um, as you can see, this is just a standard WinForm, and the WinForm is actually hosting the service that WCF uses, and the Windows Phone 7 application will consume from this WinForm. Now, uh, as you can see, as you move the mouse around, the coordinates, the latitude and longitude uh, vary, so your mouse actually dictates where the phone is, so to speak. So if we zoom in really closely, um, you get obviously the closer you can zoom in, the more realistic chance of you walking along a road would be. So you can simulate someone walking down uh, Coon Bay Barn Lane, and um, the threshold is is something I'm still working on. It's not quite perfected, but it does work to a degree. Uh, what it does, it it returns true after the mouse cursor has moved the equivalent of 20 meters. So obviously when you're uh, zoomed out this far, moving 20 meters is quite easy. But the closer you zoom in, um, moving 20 meters is not as easy uh, within a set time. So you can you, you can mess around with that to uh, determine how far someone's moved. But the key is to try to get this latitude and longitude information across this service via WCF to your Windows Phone 7 application. So if we launch the Windows Phone 7 app, As you can see, it's a pretty straightforward um, interface. So we'll click on toggle reading to turn it on, and there you go. Um, the, the information has traveled pretty quickly since it's on the same computer. Um, so you can use this information in your application quite easily. Now, for example, you might want to simulate someone driving from uh, A to B, and every 20 seconds or something, you take the GPS coordinate and add it to a list, and you automatically then have a list of GPS coordinates that you can mess around with it in your application. So um, yeah, it's quite it's quite an easy way now to get all your coordinates you want of a certain location you want without having to manually try and find the information. So um, I think that pretty much sums up the video. And I'll just take, show you quickly what the code for the Windows Phone 7 application is. Um, as I say, you can, still, you can download the code at uh, phone7.wordpress.com. But the key aspect is, is firstly creating a client um, after you've added a service reference, you want to create a client, and then you want to um, call the um, event hand. Uh, sorry, you want to handle the event of what to do once the call has been made to get GPS data, um, and that obviously just simply displays the information. So um, it's pretty straightforward to use. Mess around, I've tried to comment the code as um, detailed as possible, but if you have any questions, feel free to comment um, at the blog. And um, other than that, if you find it useful, it would be nice to uh, let me know so I can see how many people are actually using it. Um, but other than that, feel free to extend it, download the code. And obviously, the code's not um, a best practice guide or anything like that. It was just something I knocked up to test out this concept. But um, yeah, hopefully, I hope you find it useful. I hope you use it um, until you get a real device. Cool. Thanks.